Uh, I just want to start with congrats on the series. I finished it yesterday. I uh, The best thing I can say is that when it ended and there was a tease of more, I was very happy. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah. 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 I, would, I think I would have people kept on are watching. Little, yeah, they're a little confused because um, season, in fact, the arc of season one is the six episodes are not season one. Twelve episodes of season one which is slow horses and dead lions and it gets i know some people have been a little confused by that so there's more to come there's yeah we have a whole another six in the can yeah the, there's a trailer at the end of the first six for really? the for okay. the next six and i was very happy i was like I, i'm ready for those episodes now please you know <laughs> hook me up um actually w w when when you guys signed on to do this was it um did, is there talk of actually doing more than the 12 that you've done? Or was it always just, we're going to do these 12 and that's that? Well, I think like any, uh, I mean, we, we've, we've got an advantage in as much that there are eight, eight nine books of mix. And, and um, whether you know more people like you say i can't wait for the next i can't wait for the next six or i can't wait for the next series i think that's all to be determined whether we i mean the books are there um and i guess we're we're waiting to hear get a green light from upstairs whether we whether whether we do more but um they they're it's a wonderful series of of, of of books and um you know more adventures of uh lamb and river and the slow horses so we just uh we would love to i'd love to we would love to do more but we didn't there's not we, contractually we didn't sort of sign up for we're waiting to waiting to know yeah jack talk a little bit about uh I, the, the opening of episode one has a fantastic action set piece. What was it like actually filming this thing? Because you're filming, you know, at I, I believe you filmed at Heathrow. Uh, we didn't actually. We ended up filming at Stansted Airport um, My outside London, um, which uh, I think that was to do with the pandemic and things like that. Yeah. Um, but we did. They gave us free reign of a whole section of tarmac and the terminal buildings, and uh, we even had a plane that was flown in especially for us to go in and out, you know, up and down from, it was just ridiculous. And then I got to run along uh, underneath the fuselages of planes and things like that. So it, it was just it was pretty unbelievable, to be honest, to be allowed to do that and incredible fun. Yeah, it was about a week in the summer that we shot that and it was, uh, yeah, it was extraordinary to see. We, I what mean, the, the, you know, the pan, the pandemic, it it had you know it, it, it's problems because uh, there's a lot of um originally i think the sequence was going to be shot at heathrow mm -hmm. and we which was amazing because you there was a whole terminal that that they were allowed to use um and then because of the pandemic and and delays in when we started shooting and and um, I know that the director would say sometimes, oh, you know, we'd turn up at a location and he would say, this is the third location. We've, we've already lost two locations. So it was a tricky, I think it was a tricky thing because, you know, you, 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 you recce something and you have an image of how the whole thing is going to play out in this particular space. And then the production come along and say, you've lost that space. Now we need to look at a new one. And then you look at a new one and then you work all it out or you storyboard it. And then they come and say, no, we've lost that. And now we're looking at a third location. So it was, it was, um, it was, it was a, a fun show to make, but it was at the very, very height of COVID. So there were you know the way in on a set a particular way out of a set there was bubble a bubble b they they really they handled and maneuvered around the the covid brilliantly, uh, brilliantly yeah. yeah 
Yeah, I um, I also, one of the things I love about the show, one of the many things, besides your guys' performances, is that normally with a spy show, you are watching the best of the best. And instead, this is not the best of the best. And you have these characters with these we weird idiocracies. Like, it's just, um, it, for both of you, though, what was it about this show that said, I want to be a part of this, I need to do this? Well, I, I, for me, I think exactly that. This is the what. This is the wonderful thing that Mick Heron, who wrote the books, has done. He's given you a very familiar world that we that we kind of all recognise, but you know where where the sort of char a, a character like James Bond is almost like a super, is almost like a superhero. We give you the world of espionage, and then characters that uh, that the ordinary people on the street can relate to. They've all, they're flawed. They've, um, that, that's, that's, I think the, the great, the great thing about the writing is that it is, it's peopled with these characters that I think the audience can, um, connect with. Yeah, no, it was, um, <laughs> it, it was just a sort of no brainer that, that I, I, I would, I wanted to be considered and I, I worked really hard to be considered for this because it was just a beautiful uh, concept and a perfect concept uh, and very much my sense of humour um, and anything that has any remotely any kind of humour which I'm always desperate to do but also knowing that I'll spend a large part of the time trying not to laugh myself which is exactly what happened on this <laughs> I was just constantly trying not to laugh um, because it's shoved up against very hardly shoved up against um, quite serious topics and serious situations, which just makes it even funnier for me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On that note, um, uh, your speed dating ends with me. Um, I okay. want to say thank you. And uh, seriously, man, uh, guys, congratulations. Uh, I thought this, this series is fantastic. Thank you. Can't thank wait you. to watch more. Love the t-shirt. Might have been worn on purpose. <laughs> <laughs>